We're changing all the business through B2A and we're doing a presentation on Waterstones and the Cook industry uh, using SWOT analysis, uh, PESTLE and Pulse 5 Forces. Uh, I'm Eden. I'm Amy. I'm Callum. Michael. I'm Ruby. And I'm XY. Right, okay, so there are a lot of uh, strengths to that Waterstones and the booking that we have as a whole. Uh, their main strength is obviously the heritage that goes with the book market and the book industry. Um, people people will uh, carry on going to bookshops and stuff because they they believe that uh, the book market is one of the oldest ones about and want to carry on with books. Uh, another strength is that they're obviously making a genuine attempt to move forward with the times. You only have to look at Waterstone's uh, website and you can see that they're trying they're trying to get e-readers, e-books. Uh, orders online, that sort of thing, so they are making a genuine attempt. Uh, Weakness-wise, uh, the, their main weakness is the fact that they have such a lack of uh, physical space in a shop. Uh, they can't obviously hold thousands and thousands of books, uh, so there's obviously a lot of uh, delays with people going to shops, not necessarily being able to get the books there and then that they want. Thank you very much, Kevin. Um, right, uh, opportunities and threats. Uh, there are a lot of marketing opportunities in order to emphasise the traditional history of books in their original physical form, uh, rather than use new forms of reading through technology. Uh, Waterstones should use this ideology to target consumers to, prefer, to promote a message about traditional reading of books and to resist the change to new forms of reading. Uh, another opportunity, uh, new technologies such as Kindles, uh, iBooks, Amazon have made books more accessible to consumers. Uh, making partnerships with uh, universities, supermarkets, airports, train stations, petrol stations, for example, would make Waterstones books more accessible and convenient, um, helping them to compete against their competition. Uh, threats. Children are increasingly using technology. Um, to learn how to read and develop their linguistic skills instead of sitting down with a physical group with their uh, parents or teachers. This could lead to a further decline in sales uh, in the future as the next generation uh, opt to use technology instead of traditional books. Um, final threat, uh, convenience of competitor products is a very important issue that Waterstones should, object to, uh, should address. Right, we'll start with the pestle analysis. Um, and so the political point is that obviously we need to ignore that it's not much of a political impact from the government. Um, other than the government um, encouraging reading in schools for children, um, they do this by giving like uh, vouchers for to want to encourage children to read. Okay. Uh, well, from the point of view of Economic factors these have quite a big um, impact upon Wallstones and book industry. First of all is the issue of recession. Uh, obviously in a recession, people's disposable income goes down and therefore consumers will buy less and less. Uh, particularly what they deem to be luxury items. And this can include things such as hardback books, which are notoriously quite expensive. Uh, however, people will always still read books no matter what the economic climate. However, it's more likely to have gone cut back or to move towards e-books or other or books off the internet such as Amazon um, and other online sites which will save them money potential and I thought this is quite hindrance for Waterstones although all the areas of the book industry will benefit. Another problem of course that's affecting everyone at the moment is inflation. Um, particularly firms such as Waterstones who have to stock uh, all their shops, they have to fill up, they have to transport the goods and they have to of course uh, pay for their overheads. Uh, this this includes stuff like heating uh, and lighting, all of which is going up and up as imported cost plus inflation from uh, oil and energy is uh, drawing up for them. And also the cost of transferring um, all the stock across the country will also take lots of oil and therefore use lots of money, as well as potential um, wage price spirals are going to suffer because you have to employ so many staff, which is where um, the staff will realise that their disposable income is going down and therefore they have to. Uh, be paid more and then this contributes to general inflation. That's what I just said a minute ago. Over the last few years, um, we need to show that the demand factor of 
for the British book industry is the fact that society is always changing and it's likely to continue to do so in the future. Um, the, the British public are more interested in convenience and it's easier to do things um, such as shopping um, online um, and particularly lazy when it comes to things like that. Um, Uh, and from what I understand on social uh, things such as the Lost Stones card, which the trying to use to uh, preserve that loyalty. Uh, and it's a it's side basis of what social changes which I've just discussed. So, uh, right, from point of techno uh, technology, this is arguably the biggest factor. Uh, first of all, the life of the internet and the e-books has completely changed society. It's changed our attitude, it's changed how we look at things, how we go about daily lives, and therefore it's had massive changes uh, on the book industry. But all the things that you find about people resorting to using Kindles, shopping for books from Amazon and eBay, has all come from the change in technology. Uh, in some ways, this could be the saviour of the book industry.